Hi my Rice Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're fabulous! In this video I'm going to be chit chatting about where I want my artwork to go next and I want you guys to get involved so do put in the comment box anything you want to suggest or anything you want to say, anything and everything, do put down in the comment box. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe button to join the Rise Dazz family and click that little bell to be notified of all my Big Jazz Time videos I do because each time I update a new video you'll be notified and you'll know. So you may know or may not know that I run a website called Rez Does and Art. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as well so do go and follow them and I do different art pieces and at the moment I've been doing quite a lot of montage stuff and zodiac signs and word art. And for my next topic, I was thinking about doing something along the lines. There are two areas I might want to go into. That's why I was thinking it'd be cool to ask what you think of this subject. I'm either thinking of doing like tarot cards things, like using obviously how you have the whole tarot cards that predicts the futures and stuff, but picking out random tarot cards and making my own twist on them, um, or going along that thing of like mystical stuff still, because obviously that links in with the zodiac signs and things. And working with that and working the same way and making it look kind of mystical and all that jazz kind of thing or going along the way of doing taboo subjects in a way like for example um like mental illness and dyslexia and stuff to do with that kind of area of like um how it can make you anxious and feelings to do with that and making that somehow into an art piece. I'm not quite sure how I would do this at the moment because it's just like my thought process, but I thought I'd tell you how I think about stuff and what goes into behind the scenes of my art as well. So yeah, I was thinking maybe to do that, like, because I want to make something that people can look at and think that is how I felt at that stage or they see it and it kind of helps in the way. So a bit like art therapy, but not. So it's a bit of a twist, like art for the soul kind of thing. And somehow twist it into a art piece. So the feelings that you feel when you're dyslexic and stuff like that. And saying that it's not like that. Yes, you are different, but it doesn't make you less higher than someone else. You're on the same level and you're just unique as you are. You see the world differently and stuff like that, really. So I was thinking to go along either them two paths of different ways I could go so I've got my tarot ideas what I could do like I said just pick out I want to do it quite randomly pick out a random card and then obviously design the art piece around that card or you've got the other side of I want to do like I don't know what I call it art for the soul let's call it that so it's something where it would help people and if they look at it they can get something from the art and feel uplifted I guess and think that they're not alone and to boost subjects that people don't always want to talk about so it kind of puts it in your face a little bit that you have to talk about because it's an art piece if that kind of makes sense but I do want you guys to get involved and let me know what you think on both these subjects and any other things you think what would be a cool art piece to make do get involved and put in the comment box and let me know because it's cool to hear what you guys have to say on the subject and it's good to get you involved in the subject as well 
like I say, do go and follow my Instagram, so it's Razzle Dazzle Art, and my Facebook as well, because then you can keep up to date with all my art pieces that I'm doing. And remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe box and click the little bell to be notified of all my big just hand videos I do. And do remember to share this video as well with all your friends and family because then it gets it out there so I can get more people involved in this project. I'll see you guys later. Stay creative.